हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम डॉक्टर माला दास शर्मा एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल केम फिली लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेवेंटींथ एपिसोड ऑफ टीचिंग केमिस्ट्री थ्रू विडिल्स आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड टू एंजॉय द रिडिल कम्प्लीटली सो हियर इज आवर रिडिल नंबर सेवेंटीन so let's see carboxylic acids can give birth to a class of compounds x this class of organic compounds can change its characteristics and get transformed to another class of compounds which are basic in nature a well known rearrangement initiated by hypobromite ion formed in the reaction medium can produce this transformation during the transformation a gas is also formed that can cause global warming the product of this rearrangement is capable of making a highly poisonous substance through a popular reaction so this is our riddle number 17 now let's see the questions the primary question is name the class of the compounds to which x belongs guess the answer the answer is acid amide which is the derivative of acid or carboxylic acid see the other questions question number 2 Name the rearrangement referred here. Question number three. Name the class of basic compounds and the evolved gas mentioned in the riddle. Question number four. What is the highly poisonous substance formed by the popular reaction as mentioned in the riddle? And also name the reaction. This riddle is framed with the aim to discuss two important reactions of organic chemistry. Number one, Hoffman bromamide degradation or Hoffman rearrangement reaction. Number two, Arvilamine reaction. So let's discuss Hoffman bromamide degradation. or hoffman rearrangement reaction what is that the acid amide in treated with the sodium hypobromite or potassium hypobromite which are formed in the reaction medium by the reaction between bromine and aqueous alkali that means bromine with sodium hydroxide or bromine with potassium hydroxide so this hypobromite ion is formed actually this hypobromite ion reacts with amide whereby the degradation of amide takes place leading to the formation of primary amine which contains one carbon atom less than that of the parent amide that's why it is degradation reaction the final product primary amine has one carbon atom less than that of the substrate acid amide now we'll see the example this is benzamide when it is treated with bromine in aqueous sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide aniline is formed along with carbon dioxide now let's see the mechanism now this reaction proceeds via nitrine intermediate so you have to see this nitrine intermediate should formed in the reaction medium how it forms this amide reacts with hypobromite ion sodium hypobromite naobr potassium hypobromite kobr hypobromite ion is obr minus okay so this hypobromite ion take this hydrogen which is attached to nitrogen and removed as oh minus and the remaining part is rco nh br now 
this R, that is R-C-O-N-H-B-R, when reaction with alkali, that means this alkali or hydroxyl ion will take this hydrogen and this bonded electron pair of nitrogen, hydrogen shifted to nitrogen. So, this nitrogen atom will get the negative charge in this species. Next, what happened? This bonded electron pair of nitrogen and bromine is shifted to bromine and bromine is removed as bromide ion and you will get the species nitrine which is RC double bonded O and then carbon attached to this nitrogen. Now this nitrogen has two pairs of electrons. Now this rearrangement takes place whereby this alkyl or aryl group which was attached to carbon gets shifted to nitrogen. And this bonded electron, this lone pair of electron of nitrogen, that means out of two, one pair of electron of nitrogen forms double bond between carbon and nitrogen. So, we'll get the species Rn double bond C double bond O, that is isocyanate, alkyl or aryl isocyanate. Now, this isocyanate on hydrolysis produces the primary amine along with the evolution of carbon dioxide. So, this is the Hoffman rearrangement reaction whereby this primary amine is formed and during rearrangement, alkyl or aryl group shifts from this carbon to nitrogen atom and this is the degradation reaction. Final product contains one carbon atom less than that of the substrate. Now coming to carbilamine reaction. What is carbilamine reaction? Only primary amine, not secondary or tertiary, when heated with chloroform in presence of alcoholic alkali, say potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. A very foul smelling substance that is carbilamine or isocyanide is formed, which is highly poisonous. And this reaction involves the formation of dichlorocarbon intermediate. So, this is aniline primary amine, that is aryl primary amine, when treated with chloroform and alkali, this isocyanide, phenyl isocyanide is formed. Now, what happened here? Chloroform on reaction with OH minus ion, that means this hydroxyl ion take this H plus and bonded electron pair shifted to carbon. Carbon gets negative charge. Then this carbon chlorine bond shifted to chlorine and removed as chloride ion and will get the species dichlorocarbene where carbon is attached to 2 chlorine and it has a pair of electron and it also has a vacant orbital. Though it looks like nucleophile because it has a pair of electron but dichlorocarbene is electrophile because it has the vacant orbital where it can accept the pair of electron so it acts as an electrophile. Now let's see the mechanism. What happened here? This primary amine, it has amino group NH2 and nitrogen has lone pair of electron. It acts as a nucleophile and dichlorocarbon acts as an electrophile, can accept the pair of electron. So this pair of electron of nitrogen shifted to this carbon of dichlorocarbon and we get this species where nitrogen atom is positively charged, carbon atom is negatively charged. Then what happened? One hydrogen atom from this nitrogen removed as H plus and it gets attached to carbon. That is minus H plus and plus H plus and you will get the species. This phenyl group attached to nitrogen, nitrogen attached to carbon, carbon attached to two chlorine and one hydrogen and this nitrogen attached to one hydrogen. Now this hydrogen removed as H plus, so this bonded electron pair shifted here to form the double bond and this uh, bonded electron pair, carbon chlorine bonded electron pair shifted to chlorine, chlorine removed as chloride and you will get this. Here also same thing, this alkali OH minus ion take this H plus, so bonded electron pair shifted to this carbon and then this carbon chlorine bonded electron pair shifted to chlorine. So removed as chloride. 
Then what is the final thing? This phenyl group attached to nitrogen and nitrogen attached to double bonded carbon and carbon has this pair of electron. And this is the means in resonance with this one. In the resonance what happened? This pair of lone pair of electron of nitrogen form the dative bond between carbon and nitrogen. So this is phenyl group that is C6H5 then nitrogen plus triple bond carbon minus. So this is isocyanide. This is here it is arrived isocyanide. And this reaction is given by only primary amine. So this is the test for primary amine. It can be taken as the test for primary amine. This is also the test for chloroform. Now let's see the answers of the remaining questions. Question number 2. Name the rearrangement referred here. Answer is Hoffman rearrangement reaction. Question number 3. Name the class of basic compounds and the evolved gas mentioned in the riddle. The class of compound is primary amine and the evolved gas is carbon dioxide as you have seen. Question number 4. What is the highly personal substance formed by the popular reaction as mentioned in the riddle and name the reaction? Highly personal substance is alkyl or isocyanide which is the product of carbilamine reaction and the popular reaction, name of the popular reaction is carbilamine reaction. So this was our riddle number 17. Hope you have enjoyed. Thank you.